Little Caesars just rolled out their pizza pizza portal. <laughs> Get it because little Caesar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So the company on Monday is unveiling the pizza portal, a machine that lets customers who pick their pies skip the line and grab the pizza and go in more than a dozen locations in Tucson, Arizona. In order to do so, you have to download an app, uh, and then you use that same app to pay for your food. You'll be given a three-digit code. And then you just uh, scan that little code, put it in, and you grab your hot and ready pizza. Let's take a look at what the future looks like. Hot yeah. and ready zone, pick crazy up station. Crazy bread. Are you crazy? That's where your eyes went, the crazy bread? No, my eyes went to the little little Caesars guy that I want to be your next tattoo. Oh, please, I would <laughs> totally do that. This is, this is, this looks very efficient, I have to say. It looks efficient. I can see the little ovens back there. I am not the biggest fan of little Caesars pizza, but I would be willing to Maybe give this a try, I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, okay, so the CEO of Little Caesars, David Scrivano, spoke with USA Today, he says this, it's cool, it's all about convenience, in and out in seconds, no line, no wait. Just a point adjacent here, that, like David Scrivano in just that quote sounds exactly like what I imagine the CEO of Little Caesars to sound like. It's cool, it's, cool. it's all about the convenience. Well, you did make up in his voice. In and out in seconds. Well, that's how he sounds forever in my mind. Now, Sarah, there is a discussion to be had here about uh, automation and is that taking away jobs? Because two thirds of Americans think automation will impact the workforce over the next 50 years, replacing many jobs according to a 2016 survey conducted by the Pew Research Center. That having been said, they have tested out food ATMs, if you will, before. The most famous one before this was, I think, the Sprinkles Cupcake Sprinkles. ATM. And the vice president of marketing for Sprinkles says, I wouldn't say there are less jobs, it's just different jobs, including more delivery drivers to stock the standalone ATMs and bakery support staff. The ATMs have been really positive in terms of jobs because we're selling more cupcakes. That said, some people are saying automation does have an impact. There are some losers, according to chief economist at Moody's Analytics. But if a worker does lose his or her job, they can find another job quickly. We have to adapt and adjust to technology. To stop technology would be a huge error. So Sarah, couple questions following this story. First one, obviously, if you could have an ATM of whatever food you could have, what would it be and why? Number two, are robots coming to take our jobs? Uh, to answer question number one, I would go with ramen. Ooh, um, that's such a good idea. Yeah, yeah, um, that's really. I, wait, I think you. No, you can't do that. Never mind. What? I thought it existed before I saw it in an episode of Chef's Table, but it doesn't exist. The thing about, uh, do I think technology is coming over to take over our lives? Kinda. I mean, I was at a Red Robin over Christmas, and that's how I like went out to dinner with my family, and that's what it was. We didn't have a. Actually, it took us a while to realize what was going on because we were all sitting down at the table and like nobody came over for a while. And we were like, what? What was what? it? Well, there was a little pad at the end of the table where you put in what you want. And then- At Red Robin? At Red Robin in, yes. And- um, Pittsburgh. Yeah, the South Hills, but I, I love Pittsburgh. So I'd never say anything bad about Pittsburgh, you but that is what happened. You said something bad about Red Robin. Find me. <laughs> but- um. I didn't say anything bad, I was just saying my experience was that no, we yeah. didn't know what was going on and then when we did order our server, sweet girl, you know, like her. She's not watching this, Sarah, you can just speak How freely. do I know, she could be. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. It's like, it takes away from the dining experience because a lot of the time it is fun to go to a restaurant and have the interaction with your server on the other side of that when you have either a server who's Super incompetent and or high, which happens all the time in Los Angeles. You're, it's it like, does. oh, maybe I've not. But I, I, I've had high servers. I've had high, um, like I, ice cream scoopers. Well, when I too have been high, so it's kind of like fair, we share in that. Fair, yeah. But um, anyway. All right, technology's taking over, sure. Okay, I don't know where <laughs> I don't know where you went with that. Brain's a pinball machine. Right, but I enjoyed it, hearing it. What I will say is that I think that I'm all about a pluralism of options. So sometimes I, I go to a restaurant because I know that there is excellent service there. Maybe I am somewhat of a regular. I like to like see the people that work there. Where, Grace? <laughs> Can't Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Again. Um, but I also <laughs> like the option sometimes of uh, not having to interact with anyone. Sometimes sure. I sometimes I just want my pizza and I want to go watch Hellraiser. You know, yeah, sometimes but then you can't that's you just what the do mood delivery. Is. 
That's usually what I do. Yeah, that's <laughs> usually if I'm mean. in that mood, I wouldn't want to leave my house anyway. But what if I'm in my car and I know that I do want to watch Hellraiser alone with a pizza later and I'm already driving, then I could go. Well, first I'd have to download the app. Actually, now that I'm talking this over, it's a little bit complicated, but I do think that this is a move towards the future. I think we're going to see yeah. more and more fast food chains. Hopefully only fast food chains because I would be very sad if, you know, my favorite like Cantor's is my my favorite diner. I go there all the time. If they took away the wait staff, I don't know. I would be that's that's part of the reason why I go there. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think that it it is being serious here, a sign of the future, but then it, it goes like, well, does McDonald's. Also, I should say this, technology Where, fails. I was sorry, what I was gonna say was, does every fast food chain then have an app? So you're you just how many gigabytes are our phones gonna have to have? So we can be like, nope, Domino's, nope. Oh, yeah. Domino's already has an app, but um Pizza Hut has I, shoes. Pizza Hut has shoes, and Little Caesars has an app. But I would go to say, like, I also work at a gym where so much of the sign-in is through technology, and technology fails. It's not you know, it doesn't always work. So half the time when they're talking about, that's what struck me is like, oh, there's no lines, it's so convenient. If your Wi-Fi goes down, you have a lot more annoyed customers, and then you have one person trying to help them. I see this all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I just true. think like you can never, I mean. And also, I know for a fact, this is the sort of thing that I would recommend to my mom. I'm like, mom, don't even worry, you can go pick up a pizza. And she would just walk in being like, Code Q O T. Yeah. Q O T. Like she would just walk in being like, I have a cheese, a large cheese. Just holding it in as though it was like a weapon. Like, yeah, and the lady's painting her nails. Everybody, hands up. I have a pizza. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I just think it's like, I just spit all over you. My, my apologies. That's fine. Um, I just don't know if I would ever do that. Okay. I like the dining experience a lot, and quite frankly, I'm too. If I'm gonna order food, I'm gonna Postmates or I'm gonna Saucy. I mean, chances of me going to pick something up, and if I'm one of those moods, is slim to none. All right, well, guys, that's Sarah's <laughs> thoughts. We want to hear from you in the comment section below. Do you think you'll ever be in the sort of mood where you want to go pick up a pizza portal from Little Caesars? Tell us why. Include photos if or you do. why not. Are robots coming to take our jobs? Sure, let's talk all of it over in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and we will see you next time on Pop Trigger.